Hi everyone, I'm Jenna Coleshaw, Access Planet's product manager, and here's what you can look forward to in our latest release that'll be applied to your live system, week commencing the 15th of July. This release features the highly anticipated custom field builder, new payment gateway integrations with AdGen and WPM Education, and lots of little improvements and additions to your Access Planet system. So starting with our most exciting piece of news, you can now build your own custom fields within your Access Planet system. So if you need to store any additional information about your users, courses, course templates, or delegates, just go to Administration, Custom Field Builder, and create either a free text box, checkbox, date field, or numeric field using the new tool. Access this new custom field builder via the administration menu option, click add and complete the form with the details of the new field including which model it should be available from and where you'd like it to sit in the page. Select whether you'd like it to be available in your text and email templates and workflow settings and hit save. If you'd like to know any more about building custom fields, just head over to our new help guide where we have a dedicated page on this. We've now integrated with the payment gateway Adyen. Adyen is a great payment solution for large, low-risk businesses. Adyen currently work with a bunch of well-known names including Uber, eBay, Microsoft, Etsy, Evernote and Spotify and there's plenty of blog posts and online reviews praising their service. Our integration with Adyen uses the components approach where the service is built into the shopping basket. So booking users are not taken away from the basket to make payment, giving them a seamless payment experience. If you'd like to know any more about Adyen, take a look at their website or our dedicated help guide. Another new payment option, WPM Education are an education industry based payment platform that work with big name universities including the University of Manchester, Harper Adams University, University of Oxford and the University of Birmingham. Our integration with WPM allows you to align your Access Planet payments with your other education based payments such as course loans, accommodation fees and library costs. Okay, on to our usual list of honourable mentions. You can now hide the success overview page that's available to e-learning delegates from their learner portal. The success overview page provides delegates with detail about how well they performed on their course. And if you allow delegates to resit e-learning courses, you may want to hide this info and you can now by unchecking the show success overview for delegates option within your e-learning course package settings. It is now possible to include fields from neighboring models in text and email templates. So you can include course date fields within your delegate templates, you can include user fields in user award templates, and course template fields in course date templates. Have a look at our help guide if you need any support with adding or formatting these nested fields correctly. The percentage value of VAT on the final stage of the basket has now been hidden. This previously displayed the VAT percentage of the training provider, such as 20%, whether this was accurate for the user shopping basket or not. So to prevent confusion, we've tucked it away behind the scenes and now the user just sees the monetary value of the VAT. You can now determine what status your delegates have based on the status of their invoice. This means that, for example, you can set your system up so that your delegates have a status of provisional until you've received full payment for their booking, at which point they'll be automatically updated to have the status of booked. Have a chat with your CSM here at Access Planet if you'd like to start using this. We've made two changes to our Zinc integration with Sage in this latest release. You can now send your invoices from Access Planet to Sage with the status of not posted, so you can make changes to them before they're fully committed. And you can also hide the two global values from the feed so that tax rate and nominal code are pulled from each individual invoice item rather than the invoice itself. Both of these new settings are available now, so get in touch with a member of the help desk team to get them enabled or get any questions answered about them. You can now store the cost center of your courses in Access Planet. This is a new field available against each of your course templates. And finally, there is a new shopping basket option available which allows you to deactivate the shopping basket invoice. The shopping basket invoice is accessed on the payment stage of the basket and allows your booking users to get a preview of the invoice that would be created as a result of their booking. Now if you invoice from another system or you don't think your customers will benefit from this invoice, simply turn it off within the shopping basket options page in administration. 
We really hope you get a lot out of these new features. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, just let us know. Any questions about the new features, please get in touch with our help desk team on 0845 543 or via the help desk portal. If you have any thoughts on improvements that we can make to the system, please get these submitted to us via the product suggestions portal. And finally, if you have any questions about product development or our product roadmap, please get in touch with me.